Welcome to Martinsville, Virginia here for today's race and before we get started there you saw on your screen if you didn't pause it really quick just to make sure that you guys know I'm running on 100% difficulty and now let's get into it why did I show you the qualifying well that's the best place we finished all weekend practice we did mid 20s qualifying you just saw there 13 and the race you're gonna see why but welcome to Martinsville, Virginia, here in Martinsville. Actually, the Martinsville Raceway here in Martinsville, Virginia, for today's running of the goodies fast relief 500, and man, do we need it. Other than that, let's get started. Kent's up on the pole, Kislowski, second, third, and Ryan Newman, fifth. Skip over Kevin Harvick, but your real top five, four for today's race is Matt Kent, Kyle Busch, Brad Kislowski, and Kevin Harvick, there's a winner's trophy if you do win today's race. Not the grandfather clock, but still a trophy nonetheless. Let's get started. We're starting next to David Reagan here in 13th spot. Right behind Chase Elliott and I believe that's Casey Mears. Yeah, it is the Geico car. So let's get started. As I said, we're going to need some fast relief 500 or just fast relief because this one got out of hand. David Reagan comes down, we get into him, send him in the wall. Now we're four, five wide all of a sudden. Right here on the back stretch here, Gordon on down low. And you'll see here, right here, we try and come down low. And Kurt Busch had the door apparently. Spotter didn't do a very good job. Somehow no wrecks here. And where is it going to come? Well, there's going to be a wreck sometime, but where is it going to come? We just went from 13th to 39th. Danica slides up on the track, we do it, and there we go, there's the caution, backstretch, turn two. So guys, we're not good at Martinsville, we're a little better at Bristol just because you have room to do stuff. Here, you better get on those brakes in a hurry, and you better perfectly time those because that's going to hurt you just like it did us there, so... Good evening guys, I'm your host JT Mathis48 and if at any point you like this video or dislike it, let me know by hitting that like, dislike, comment, whatever you need to do that you feel necessary in doing, but as always do it well. As we're rolling down into pit road, we're going to take the damage, or try to fix the damage at least. Uh, take no tires, it still gives us four for whatever reason. And we're just going to work on some tire pressure, so only a lap two, it's going to be a long one. Coming into pit road, 30 miles an hour, you see there, 33 all the way to 30. And you see there, we took no tires. Okay, uh, we're going to repair that damage, down. or try to at least. No fuel, rubbers we're going to add to the left side of the car. Grill tape we add a little, I think, or take away. Wedge we adjust, and tires you see there, none. As I said, it gives us four. Maybe they thought it would help us out. Well, it didn't work. So, coming into Parrot Road, there you see Austin Dillon trying to get past whoever that is behind okay, us right there. And he goes off Let's to go. the side, but eventually gets in battling with what it looked like to be Michael Annette right there. Or a white car of some sort as Jimmy Johnson passes us by. But we are just sitting here in Parrot Road. And because it's only a seven-minute video, well... You'll find out why in a very, very quick second. The crew going to work, going on the left side tires, adding those rubbers accordingly, and we're off. There you'll see the caution summary on your screen. Well, we're 43rd. Not okay. As I said, coming to lap 10, it's not going to be a fun one. We're in 43rd, just coming off the restart. And we're going to go in car, so I hope you guys enjoy some of the time in car cam. Hope you've enjoyed this video so far and enjoy the noises and sounds of NASCAR. Ten seconds ahead. 
Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that short spin. I know it was very short. But nonetheless, sounds and NASCAR and coming off turn four, we get very squirrely there. After hitting the apron with our front left tire right there. And well, no surprise, we finished 43rd. We're gonna drop 11 points or 11 spots in the points standings as we get an achievement. Woohoo doesn't it detract from the performance. Let's take a look at your top 10. Matt Kenseth led all 25 in the win. Clint Boyer, Greg Biffle, Chase Elliott, Brad Keselowski, Paul Menard, Ryan Newman, Kyle Busch, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Eric Almarola, the round at your top 10. Your top 15 goes as followed. David Reagan, Casey Mears, Ryan Blaney, David Gillilan, and Denny Hamlin. You see there's some big names. Logano, Gordon, Earnhardt, 31st, Johnson, 41st. After we were all involved in that pileup that eventually led to a wreck. But this week's over. You have your good. You have your bad. And well, today chalk up one for the disappointment. The whole new category coming to our race. As we are still learning tracks. We're still learning the points. And most of all, excuse me. We're learning when to come in to the corner, when to break, all that good stuff. But there you see the point standings. We drop 11 spots from 13th to 24th, 128 points. Your top 10 in points, Clint Boyer, Joey Logano, Kyle Busch, Paul Menard, Kenseth, Stenhouse Jr., Vickers, Kurt Busch, Jimmy Johnson, Craig Biffle, Earnhardt, Hamlin, Kozlowski, Amarola, and your bubble. Regan Smith and Casey Kane round out those. We are in 24th. And the next race is at Texas Motor Speedway. So, hopefully a good week, and then we're off to Bristol. But, as always, hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. I will see you guys all next time, and thank you for tuning in.